Hello everyone. In this video, I wanted to show how sometimes it's necessary to run the second step of the photogrammetry process instead of as one step as two steps. Uh, this is needed if you have a really large data set, or in the one I'm going to demo here, it's a fairly small demo set, but it still fails if you try to run it in one step. All right, this is the source of where I got it. It's a rock set of images on the uh, blenderartists.org. And it's the rock scan 50 images sample that this person has uh, shared. I think it's MK Breyer is sharing it to Mamao. So anyway, I have that all downloaded. I have Micmac already started. I'm going to start at the beginning. And then clear any previous and copy those images in. And samples, rock, rock. I'm going to select them all. Uh, one thing you might notice is that uh, because of the way the front end is written, the file names are changed so it can do the selection process automatically. I'm going to open those up. This is the user database, so that's good. I'm going to close that out. And here we have all the images. I go to tapioca and just run it with the defaults. And I'll fast forward from this point on to save some time in the video. Okay, and it's done. It looks like it took uh, about 12 minutes. And you can see in the preview that it's need to make some adjustments to the display. Okay, I think that looks right. Should have got some tie points. Now we're going to the next step to pause. And I'll just run it straight as one step. And we'll see the error that happens. You see, it starts out with some. Pretty high numbers, red, double digit. That's uh, sometimes a bad sign. All right, and there we have it. After two minutes, it aired out and everything is red. Now I'll run it again. I'm going to close this. I'm going to press the X here to clear out all the data, or all the files that were generated by MacMac. And we're going to come down to the bottom, and I'm going to clear the selection. And I'll select the first five images. And I'll run it again. And on those five images, it only took about 20 seconds and they're all green. Now to run the second step, select the orient final operation. What this shows is that the calib that was just run will be used as an input for the orientation final. And by using those five images pre-computed, it can come to a good result. Oops, my mistake. I'm going to cancel. I'm going to select all images now and run it again.
And you see it immediately starts out as a combination of green, blue, and red values and no double digit reds. That shows it's working much better now. Three and a half minutes later, and we got a good solve. Now I'll go through the next couple of steps. Just to be complete, do a 3D preview. Thirty seconds. There's a lot of stuff going on there. You can zoom in, take a look. You can see the cameras, they form a good pattern. That looks like it's likely where the cameras were. But I don't think I want all that background noise. So I'm gonna go ahead and mask this. Using the mouse wheel to zoom in. I can do a selection. So left click around the area and right click to end it and spacebar to select everything inside. Thing is with this tool it's really difficult to see but the ones that are selected are brighter. I'm going to go ahead, file, and save the selection, and exit out of this tool. And dense 3D cloud. You see up here that the mask is already selected to be used automatically. And I'll just use the defaults and see what we get. Okay, about six minutes has passed by, and we have a result. Looks like about 1,200,000 points. We then increase the point size, see what that looks like. Not too big. That's pretty good. Okay, I guess that's it. I just wanted to show that sometimes you want to do a calibration step before doing the final step in the Tapaz uh, process. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.